Hey everybody, it's Janae with the Mother's Treasure Painting Studio. Tonight I'm painting this cute foot with wings. I'm not gonna lie, I had to look it up. It stems from Greek mythology. Um, a lot of times they use this as logos for um, track teams as well. Anyway, so I couldn't decide what I wanted to do and what color I wanted to make it because as I've mentioned before, my favorite color is all of them. So I decided to go with like a little rainbow theme just because I think that's pretty. Um, so I went ahead and drew out the outline with chalk as I always do. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint my first coat of colors. You guys can do the same if you want to. I've seen several of these have been drawn to look like a pair of tennis shoes with wings, which I think is super cute. But I wanted to kind of stick with the basics. So while I'm painting this first coat, let me remind you that this is your video. You can slow it down or uh, stop it at any time. Don't feel like you need to keep up with me. Um, this is just a tutorial kind of to help you to show you what I'm doing. Um, but that does not mean that you have to do the same thing I'm doing. So let me go ahead and tell you that I'm using my flat brush. This is a medium sized flat brush and I'm just loading it with my paint and giving everything a first coat. If you want to get a sharper edge, as you can see, um, what I do is turn the brush sideways and just use it similar to how I would use a round brush just to do a sharper edge along your um, outline just like I'm doing here and then you use the wide side to fill in the area so I'm gonna want my colors to be brighter than this right now but what I've done is added just a pinch of white to each of my colors that um, have a tendency to be a little more transparent because I want to have better coverage on this first coat so I added a pinch of white, which muted it down a little bit. Then once they're dry, I'll come back over it with just the straight green or the straight yellow color. And that way it will be much brighter and the second coat um, will just cover much better. You can tell with this blue, I'm not gonna need to mute that down because it's nice and bright already and covers really well. And since I couldn't decide what I wanted to do, I'm going to just repeat that same rainbow pattern, moving it up one. So right here in this first space, I'll skip it. And the second space, I'm going to paint red. The third space, I'll paint orange. And again, you don't have to do this the same way I am. I'm just um, being a little crazy and adding all the colors because like I said, they are, I just think they're so pretty all together.
So now I'm going to try to find my chalk and line up these feathers where they would be on the second wing. I'm going to try to line everything up so that they match. Um, that's where chalk is really handy because you can just erase it if you don't get it quite right. And I don't really like where that is, so I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and erase that. I'm just going to use a, a tiny, tiny damp brush and wipe over it, and it just comes right off. I'll turn this sideways. It'll work better. Just draw an imaginary line, trying to extend those feathers across to the other wing. And this should take care of it. And then we'll do those same rainbow colors across the top. Darken it up so I can see it. There we go. Okay, now this area is much smaller, so I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to move down to this little round brush. You can see it's so much smaller and it fits much better in this area and covers everything just, just great. So you're going to use a much smaller brush or else you're really going to have a hard time getting those little corners in um, this second wing. Okay, so now you can move on to the rest of the foot, or you can go back over some of these areas that are already dry and give them the second coat. I believe that's what I'm going to go ahead and do, is work on the feathers and continue on with my second coat.
Now that I've got my second coat on all my feathers, I'm tickled with it. I think it's looking really pretty. I did not do this little tiny bottom feather on purpose because I want to do a, this Caribbean color. This is Caribbean blue. It's one of my favorite colors and I just wanted it to be a little standout down here on the bottom. I don't really have any reason for it. I just thought it would look neat. As I move on to the rest of this foot, I'm going to let you know that I'm going to paint it black. Um, the reason I'm going to paint the foot black is because I want my feathers to be the standout part. And I feel like they would really be a big contrast against this black foot. So I'm going to move to this bigger brush. Again, it's just a, a medium sized flat brush. As you can see, I'm able to get that sharper line by using the edge of the brush but it also does great coverage for the rest of this bigger area. Now moving on to this next section, I'm just going to follow those chalk outlines from earlier. Still using my fat brush, my little wide brush. And I don't know about you guys, but I find this part here very satisfying. When you can do these big longer um, brush strokes and it covers it all nice and even and pretty. Um, it's just something about it that's relaxing to me. Last but not least, this next little section, and we'll be all done with the black uh, for the foot. And then we'll come in a little bit later and do some black outlines as always. Um, but right now we're just filling in this little section. So my purple up here at the top looks a little streaky. I'm going to mix some purple a little bit darker and go over that with a second coat before I move on to the next part of the foot. There we go. I like that a lot better. Okay, now I'm going to get the hair dryer and just make sure everything's good and dry and move on to the next part.
And now the tough decision. What do we want to color these last two sections? I think I'm going to go with pink. I don't have any pink on here yet. And I think that's about the only color left. So we're going to go with pink. This is a small flat brush. Um, rather than earlier was the medium sized flat brush, this one is a small flat brush. And it fits perfectly in this space. And as you can see, um, it's the perfect brush for the job. It's time to move on to our black outlines. So we're gonna move to this small round tip brush. We're gonna roll this in our black paint. We're gonna water it down just a little bit and then we're gonna roll it. And when I say roll it, what that means is we're gonna um, roll it in the paint while pulling it back toward, toward our, our body. And while we're doing that, it gives it a perfectly sharp edge. And so that's what you want when you're doing these outlines. See there how smooth that looks? So we're gonna just continue to load our brush pretty frequently because we want it to um, flow pretty smooth off of our brush. As you're moving along doing some of these outlines, you're going to come to a point where you have to turn the piece around to get to different angles, and that's okay. Just go um, whatever is easiest for you. Um, you're going to want something steady to rest your hand on as you're trying to draw these lines. Um, trust me when I say it's nearly impossible to draw straight lines unless you've got something to, to rest your hand on to keep it steady. Um, a lot of times I'll prop my pinky on a dry place and then, you know, try to steady my hand that way. But I don't think I'm going to need to with this piece.
Now that we've got our black done, we'll move on to some of our white highlights. I'm going to just add a little bit of water to it because I want it to be smoothed out and not glumpy. Um, again, roll in that brush. Make sure that you have dabbed it off before you roll the brush because you don't want any drips of water. That's going to make a mess on your painting. And we're just going to add just a few white highlights here and there. Nothing, nothing huge. Just something to catch your attention. It really makes those colors jump out. Just keep working around those highlights right here I'm gonna try to give it a little a little lift at the end because I want it to kind of look like an actual foot and you know there's a little dip there under your toe so that's what I'm going for let's hope it turns out right yeah see that looks like a little little toe and then we'll just go over this last little bit here And there we have it. We're at the end. Um, I'm really tempted to write something on it, but I think I shall not. Don't want to mess it up. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys found it helpful, and we'll see you next time.